guys, it's Claudia from Also Productions, and today I'm proud to announce a new series from us called Let's Play a PlayStation Game. In this series, we will be playing a different game for each episode. That could be from any of the three main PlayStation consoles, so PS1, PS2, and PS3. We'll try to keep it PlayStation exclusive games, but if we can't, then oh well. Today we will be playing a PlayStation Classic. Crash Bandicoot for the PS1. Us PlayStation veterans all know Crash Bandicoot. He is a famous PlayStation mascot similar to Sonic the Hedgehog to Sega. The first Crash Bandicoot game came out in 1996 and was developed by Naughty Dog. In this game, Crash's main goal is to defeat the evil Dr. Cortex and save his girlfriend, similar to the Super Mario Brothers, and spanning over 32 levels. We are obviously not playing this on our original PS1, and this game is available on the PlayStation Store for $5.99. Anthony will be playing through most of, not all, the episodes, and I will be mostly doing commentary. Now let's begin. I remember the good old days when we had the old PS1. <laughs> yep. Wait, how would you remember? You weren't even born yet. Exactly. <laughs> I remember we used to have a copy, but then we lost it. And we saw this on the PSN store, and we were like, oh, let's buy it! <laughs> Claudia really liked um, Sonic and Crash. It's like, that's your two favorite things. Since I like to draw, I drew a picture of those two together. Not in a weird way. Yep. Alright, we got the classic. Alright, let's start with a new game. <laughs> he looks around and he's like, where? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, we're going to start on the first level, Insanity Beach. Let's play. So for the intro, he basically jumped out a window and landed on the beach and somehow survived. In Battlefield 3, you wouldn't be able to do that. You'd probably die. Alright, let's play. So Crap. this genre is considered um, a platformer. Really good game for kids to play. I had my nephew play it one day. Come on, man. All right, let's go. Then Crash has one attack, and he can. Uh, wow. Died. <laughs> you gotta treat this game like leprosy. If you touch the person or the enemy, you're dead. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. You see, so, the thing about Sonic is that if you hit an enemy, if you have rings, you won't die right away. But they do have something similar to um, the rings, and that's coming up pretty soon. But anyways, yeah, treat the enemies in this game like they have leprosy. You get them away from you. So let's keep going. You can either jump or spin on them. I oh, forget it. So anyways, like I was saying, the rings in Sonic are just like the Witch Doctor in this game, also known as Aku Aku. If he, he can like absorb one hit or two, and if you get three Aku Akus, then you have temporary temporary invincibility. Going. But yeah, this game is almost like Mario. It's highly addictive when you first try it out, and sometimes it can be pretty temperamental. So yeah, you get two Aku Akus, and you have it can absorb two hits now. So you see those turtles? They're, see, they're just—it's just like Mario. You got the turtles, and you you hit them. But yeah, anyways, yeah, like I said earlier, treat them. Yeah, see, I just got hit. All right, let's keep going. So you get all these boxes and. In the future, um, Crash games, 
you get like a reward known as a gem for collecting every single box in the game. Or, I'm sorry, every level. And there can always sometimes be secret passages where other boxes will be. There. You see this box, you hit it. So, let's try this. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, we gotta check one. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh. This game won't, I don't know why, but I can't play with the joystick, so I gotta use the D-pad. It's kind of hard for me. Let's try to go get those um, boxes again. And if you collect 100 Wampa Fruit, you get one life. Claudia one time got about 99 lives in one of the Crash games. The one for the Game Boy Crash and Trance. 2? Crash 2 and Trance. One. Oh, you know what? How about we skip this? Yeah, let's just skip it. We don't need them. It's just a playthrough. Let's just skip it. And, like before, how Anthony said this game is temperamental, I'd like to bring up Crash number 2. First thing, I every time I die, my brother heard me hit the wall because I was rage quitting. Yep, she raged every time she died. And she still rages when she plays this game. Exactly. Not a good idea to be next to her when she plays this game. Unless she's having a good day. So yeah, we skipped those other boxes because this is gonna, it's going to take too long. Alright, so we made it to the ending. There's a butterfly. No. Yeah. So it'll give you a result of what you did during that that level. Or not. Okay, or not. Depending on if you beat the level already, I think. I think so. But yep, that's a that's a quick playthrough of Crash Bandicoot. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like. And maybe suggest a cl um, another PlayStation game we can play. Um, I'm Anthony, and this is Claudia. And thank you for watching. Bye!